people often ask me, what's your favorite printer? So I thought, let's talk about that for a moment. What is it? You guessed it, the Sobel SV-06. And you may ask, Cody, why do you like this printer so much? Well, let me tell you. First of all, the obvious one, the price. I got most of them for around $200 Canadian, which is pretty good. It's a lot of bang for your buck. Next, the i3 structure. You may notice some similarities between this printer and another popular one with a more orange color. As a clone of the Prusa Mark III, this thing has a lot of nice features. One of the most important of which I think is direct drive. This is a solid little planetary drive motor, fairly lightweight, can move at a decent speed, and doesn't have all of the retraction issues of a Bowden tube setup. Rails. Stainless steel rails on all of the axis. Low maintenance, just requires lubrication. Nice, solid foundation. Dual Z. Two motors, two Z rods. Nice, stable Z axis movement. Even though it's two motors, they are both fed by a single TMC driver. I like this because it decreases the chances of failure between the motors and board. The solid mounted bed. As I mentioned earlier, the bed is on stainless steel rods, but there is no adjustment to be made as far as leveling the bed. Five screws mount the bed to the chassis, and that's it. There's nothing to go wrong. This makes it an incredibly reliable system. Speaking of bed leveling, the proximity sensor. It uses a fairly large surface round proximity sensor for detecting variations in height of the bed to build the mesh. This is nice for a couple of reasons. Uh, mainly, it doesn't use a touch probe that physically touches the bed, and so then you're not, you don't have to worry so much about deviations in height from your PEI texture throwing off your general reading. It's reading from a larger surface without actually touching the bed. It's just detecting the metal presence. Cheap parts. Because this printer is well mass produced for print farm applications, it uses quite cheap parts and they're commonly available. So when you do have a problem and get it troubleshooted, Finding a replacement part is no problem, is very cost effective, and usually doesn't take long to change. Print quality. Out of the box, with zero modifications, it does a pretty good job, especially with your more difficult silk filaments. And these are all right off the printer with zero post-processing. I mean, these little bit of strings, that's pretty much all I ever see from retractions. Nothing major, nothing a little bit of butane torch won't take care of. Definitely a solid, reliable machine, capable of printing beautiful, beautiful products. And that pretty much covers why I really like the SV06. I have about 14 of these machines. They've all been fantastic for me, needing very little in the way of repairs, with the exception of uh, hot ends and um, a couple fans. That's honestly their biggest downside, and probably the only one if you ask me, is that their part cooling could definitely be a little bit better. There is lots of uh, fan ducts that you can print to upgrade to a, a 5020 or some other kind of blower fan. That, that definitely makes some difference, but... For most of what I'm doing, uh, the overhangs aren't too steep and it's not really an issue. 
also, if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. We're going to do lots more content with 3D printing and many other crafts. Um, my next video will probably be a setup on one of these machines because there's a couple things I do a little bit differently that I think are a factor in uh, what makes them reliable. So, hope you guys liked it and see you soon.